What the hell? What kind of no! Whoa! Whoa! Welcome back, everybody. It's finally time for the second episode of Fears to Fathom. Now, in this episode, we play as Holly Gardner, a 19-year-old who was driving back home from a gaming convention. As the traffic got horrible, she decided to take the long way to avoid the traffic, which leads to an unplanned trip to a motel. I'm so pumped up for this game. So ready for this. This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help, even if just a little bit. Yeah, we can support you. No problem. We all help each other around here. Uh, I was one of those people that loved gaming conventions. I'd go to every convention I get the chance to, and sometimes I ever met some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going to interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. You cheap bastards. <laughs> This convention I was at ven went great, went great, I'm sorry you guys. And it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over 12 hour drive. Jesus Christ, girl. 12 hour drive? At least we got a decent radio channel to listen to. Awesome. So why are we stopping here? In the middle of nowhere, of all places? Could have choose a better place or is it just me? Why are we doing this? Adrian Williams. Stuck in the biggest traffic jam of the country. That sucks. It's not too good here either. I think it's the people from the convention. That's it. I'm rerouting here. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. And then I have some messages from Dad as well. Drive safe, Holly. Don't forget to call me. You got it, Dad. Anything else? We're leaving now. Drive safe, Holly. Okay. Can we take the... Why would I want to take the packing right now? I couldn't drive Ling with my stuff. No, no, you can't. Just put it back in the trunk. Come on. Do it. And close the trunk. <laughs> That's a proper packing, isn't it? Okay, I guess we were supposed to drive. Just to keep on driving. Listen to the good radio station. Yeah, I like this way much better. Let's drive. Drive away from this shitty place. Yeah. Driving to my death. Da 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 da. High on crystal meth. La 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 la! Watch out! I'm the one who's driving like a dick, but still. <laughs> a message from Dad. Are we gonna read the message while driving? Still about six hours away from the city. Got stuck in a jam. Blah 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 blah. Okay, we need to focus on the way right now. The road. I'll admit, I was a terrible driver. <laughs> no! Fuel is running out! Near halfway through the, through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. No. No, no, you stupid son of a bitch. 
No, we can't run out of gas now. It's too soon. It's too early. I don't have the time reading your texts now, now Dad. Can't even speak because I'm getting so nervous. Sorry, you guys. Are we gonna stop and read the messages from Dad? Told you to take that flight. Oh, Holly, it's gonna be late when you reach back. I hope you're feeling all right. So far, so good, Daddy. But uh, things about to uh, turn the complete opposite way. I think. Shit's about to go down. Oh, do we have a gas station? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was too. I was too. Uh, I was too stressed out. Didn't mean to uh, scratch your car like that. Let's uh, drive in here. Man, I really drive like shit. Okay, so we are at the gas station. Stop the fucking car. Get out of the car. There we go. Okay, so can we go in here? What's going on? I almost got stuck. Why are we walking so slow? Is it laggy? Oh, we got a decent dude in there. Let's go in, will we? Hello, sir. Oh. I thought he was the one who's working here. Anyhow, I need a large cup of coffee and some gasoline. Can you fix that for me, big guy? Hi, can I get $10 on pump 2? Oh, I, I need to pick... <laughs> I didn't know I have to click on that. <laughs> Sorry about that, you guys. I'm still learning. I'm still learning. So you don't want to answer me? You're heading to the bridge by yourself. Uh, the bridge? The Northwood Alley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of the year. Be careful. Uh, what do you mean? For about a century, now many people have been going missing down there. And people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say that the Northwood Alley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down the trees. Cool. Thank you very much for that. Can I maybe throw some cigarettes in your face as well? There will be consequences. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to offend you, man. I'm, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna keep on moving. Hello there, fella! Wow, you look like a child molester. I'm sorry, but that's the... That's, I'm just speaking the truth right now. Can we grab something to eat or something to buy? I would... I would need a bottle of wine right now. I'm gonna try to buy this one. Excuse me, sir. I didn't need it. Okay. Screw ya! I'm gonna call the cops. No, I'm, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You, you got pumped too. Thanks. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna leave now. But first I'm gonna see if we can talk to this guy. Excuse me, sir. Have you heard about the Northwood Alley uh, Valley Monster, sir? Huh? The Northwood Valley Monster. Do you know anything? Big mistake! Sir! How's your night going? He just looked at me. <laughs> okay, I think we should just get out of here now before you get in trouble. And one more thing! If you see a woman in a white or blue gown, gown, what the fuck is that? Trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on gas as hard as you can. Who is she? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that she seeks ven ve vengeance after she was murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never, ever, under any circumstance, pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road, 
putting their thumbs out. They ain't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. What are we facing in this game? Okay. We got some text messages from mom as well. I, I don't know if you find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Can you get something from Milo? I'll, I'll pay you back. Pump 2. This is 1. And this is 4. This is pump 2. Should we do something with the... Oh, we need to park closer. So now we are parking closer to... Uh, to pump 2 so that we can fill up the gasoline. I'm still not really sure where the gas lid is on this car, but I, I, I hope it doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's do a nice parking close to pump 2. Let's go. There we go! And stop the car right there! Come on! This car is pretty hard to drive, but let's try to get out here. Okay, let's do it. Is it close enough now? There we go. We got this, do we? We got this. Hey, <laughs> yeah. I filled the tank and then I was off the road again. Okay, the fuel is up. Since my mom asked, I had to buy something for Milo from the store. So now we're gonna buy the dog food? Are we really gonna buy the dog food? Are we really gonna waste time doing this? Fuck Milo. I want to survive. Here we got some dog food. I want to buy this one as well. That'll be five dollars, ma'am. Yeah. I'm gonna pay you, sir. I don't want any trouble. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Now! Let's get out of here. The tank is filled up. We got the dog food and we can get the hell out of here. Okay, we should put it in the trunk first. <laughs> Right next to our decent packing. There we go. <laughs> Looking great. Let's get the hell out of here. Brum, brum, brum. Being on the road, you do realize a thing. Monsters truly do exist. And every single one of them looks like just you and me. What do you mean? Okay, we got a text message from mom. It's not expired or anything, right? Oh, shut up. They don't sell expired fucking dog food. Come on. Are you kidding me, mom? Just try to be grateful that I actually bought it for you. What? What's up with the headlights? What was up with the headlights? Okay. I got a bad feeling about this right now. No, 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 please. Okay, we got another car ahead of us. I hope there's someone friendly. Holy fucking shit, why are my headlights flickering like that? What is happening? Hi, it's getting so dark. It's getting too dark now. Come on, light them up again. Light them up. Light them up, please. It's too dark right now. Come on. Come on. What? What's the problem? What is the problem? I guess we'll just keep on going. Oh. I swear to God, if something appears in the dark. I'm gonna shit my pants. Fuck, there's something so creepy about driving through forests during night. It's just too creepy. Let's keep on going this lonely road. It's a nice, nice vacation we're having, right? We don't even have vacation, do we? No. Okay, wooden bridge doesn't seem that stable, but fingers crossed. Okay, everything good so far? Headlights are working still? 
Hope they will continue doing that. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, we are losing connection on the radio. This is not good. This is not good. And the headlights went off again. Ah, oh, I got such a bad feeling about this. I got such a bad feeling about this. These games are fucking terrifying. Oh, we got a car standing right there, but I don't care. I'm just going to keep on moving. Pedal to the metal. Oh, a little rabbit. I should have run over that bastard. No, I'm just kidding, of course. Sorry. Keep, keep on walking, keep on moving, uh, keep on grooving. Okay, what kind of shitty place is this? It feels like we're in the middle of nowhere. Uh, there is this very weird thing about that night. I saw two logs being in the middle of the low road blocking the way ahead. No! No, no, no! That's a big no! Turn around and go back to the gas station. I almost seemed like blah blah blah, but I didn't think so much of it at the time, okay? You didn't think too much of it? I mean, someone literally did this. I mean, the, the, these lodge don't appear from nowhere. Are you strong enough to move them? Really? Gosh, we are fucking strong. You go, girl. That's some true girl power right there. Nice. Good job. Okay, that was easier than I thought. Let's keep on moving then. I had to move the lodge. Are you, you could have drive past that now. Are you gonna move them more? Miss Perfect, are you happy now? Can we go now? I don't want to stay here anymore. Let's go. Come on. Start, will ya? The car wouldn't start back up. Are you kidding me? No! No! And just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. Great! I'm not saying that I was starting to believe whatever the bullcrap the gas station clerk pulled, but I would be lying if I said I didn't feel the slightest of unease. I don't mean to make this sound like a cliché horror story, but... Throughout my life I was told not to take rides from strangers. But at that moment, I had no choice. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. So I cracked my pants instead. 10.23 PM. Imagine being out there in the middle of nowhere during this time. Terrifying. I saw a car nearing. Are we really gonna ask for help? Hey! Hey! Help me! Help! Come back! Pure evil! I didn't understand how somebody could leave another human being stranded like that. Maybe because of the sayings of a woman that was hitchhiking with people? People probably think that we're a demon now. 10.43 p.m. Is it getting cold now? We are closing up the night. Hello! Anyone out there? I need your help now! Oh, another car! Hey! Sir! I'm lifting with you! Come on! He 
stopped. This is probably gonna be a total creep. A total creep. What the fuck is wrong with your face? Is this the child molester from the gas station? You're the girl, girl from the gas station. Yeah, thank you very much for stopping. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. You think I can get a ride? Where are you heading to? Uh... Just to the nearest stop where I can call for help? Hop in. Thanks so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just... Just... Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Okay, sir. Why are you being so stressed out? I'm just offering you some good old company. You should be grateful, son of a bitch. Oh, that's right. He was a child molester and I'm not a child. That's why it's so... Fucking braggy about it. Okay. We start with the dog food. The most important thing here in life. Throw it right there. And then one of the bags. Throw it right there. Throw it right there. Throw it right there. Holy shit, what a leap. <laughs> I'm just going to check to be sure if I, I need to bring the skateboard as well. That would be ridiculous. Of course, the skateboard as well. We're gonna bring the skateboard as well. Throw it up there. There we go. Now we got all stuff. Let's go, mister. I'm ready now. I'm, I'm not ready now. <laughs> Do we need to close something? Hurry up. I need to get moving now. Uh, I'm done. Finally. Now hop in. Quick. Easy, sir. Why are you so stressed out? Jesus Christ. You don't have to be a bitch. Or act like a bitch. Okay, so now we're leaving. We have just hitched hike with a child molester. So you want to tell me who you are? Where you're going? Uh, I'd rather not say if that's okay. I live really close from here. I was driving off. Uh, well, uh, I'd rather not say if that's okay. If you say so. He's acting so creepy, man. So, uh, why are you driving so slow? You're really lucky I had to be on this side of the town tonight. I must say that you are one brave young woman. Okay, so it begins. Now he's going to give us lots of compliments and then he ends up saying, Oh, by the way, you're really beautiful. You look really beautiful. How old are you? Brr, disgusting. What is that supposed to mean? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? Well, it's an old car. An old shitty car. That's it. I think so. So, uh... What's up? <laughs> so what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? He really creeped me out. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. Uh, okay. So is it true? What? The monster? Let's see that I've never seen the monster myself, but there are... There are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey listen, I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. What's that supposed to mean? 
I mean, I'm getting really curious now, so I guess I have to bother them. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. Okay, good to know. I don't feel safer now, but uh, thanks anyway. 12.08 a.m. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Okay, sounds like a good plan to start with. Apparently they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there. He said Ominous, ominously before leaving. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Okay, so maybe he was a good guy? Hmm. So here are my stuff. Hello, sir. I would love to have a splendid room. The man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. So we got another creep here. That's perfect. Gal, need a room to shack up for the night? Uh, I'm yes, I'm only going to be here for a few hours. Forty dollars for single. Pay cash only. Whatever floats your boat, mister. Room number nine, right over there. Okay, we got the key to room number nine. Talk about the car. Ninety dollars. Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. Oh! You got it, sir! Grab my wallet! Just fix all the problems for me and I'll be more than happy, okay? i let Tommy know. That's pretty cool. And one last thing. Oh no, here it comes. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess I'll be sneaking my way through here then. Fucking hell. Do I need to carry all my luggage to the to my room as well? Where's the room number nine, by the way? Is it on the other side? Because number one was there, so I just assume that it could be somewhere here, maybe? Mom? Aiden Williams? Oh my god, everyone are asking where I am right now. Okay, let's read the messages first. Uh, oh, not delivered! The message to dad was not delivered. Of course they are getting worried. Uh, and Aidan Williams is asking, Hey, where are you at? Your dad's calling me. And mom? It's not expired or anything. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, she wrote that before. Holly? Can we actually answer them? I need to try this. Hi, mom. I just met a guy that uh, wants to take care of me I'm gonna spend the night with him <laughs> send the message come on do it Holly fuck I couldn't <laughs> okay let's let's keep on moving let's keep on moving let's go into the room here's my cozy room it was nice and warm inside what kind of bed is this Except there was a smell, a type of musky smell you get from old houses. Where's the mattress? Am I gonna sleep on this? I couldn't, couldn't have slept here. What the hell? What kind of- No! Whoa! Whoa! Who the fuck are you? What are you doing here? You scared the crap out of me! <laughs> Look at his face! What the fuck, dude? Who are you? I'm Tommy. Room service here at Roadway Inn. The finest stoop over in Northwood. But what were you doing in here? You know, cleaning stuff. 
What? Guy at the front desk gave me this room. <laughs> what? This guy is so creepy. I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. Yeah, I'll just get my stuff then. Please wait outside, I said. Go get your stuff. I like the wide angle of his shoulders. You, you, you must lift weights, bro. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave now. That is the creepiest man I ever seen. Okay, let's go and get our stuff. Okay, how much can we carry? I only had two hands. I actually realized now that you could carry two luggage in the same time, or two bags in the same time. I didn't thought about that before. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna throw it right near him. There he is again. What the fuck, dude? Stop looking at me! I'm gonna get two other bags and then I'm gonna talk to him. And... Oh, sorry. And let's leave them right there! I'm not really organized, am I? <laughs> okay, Mr. Pedophile. Had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy! But don't you worry, it's safe here. I go get your car. And also the room's phone is not working. If need anything, just ask at the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. <laughs> Why is he laughing like that? But you have a good night. All right, Mr. Creep. So he actually fixed my bed. That's... Uh, I'm grateful for that. Jesus Christ, look at him going. He's walking in slow motion. That is a good old sign of a psychopath. Okay, I'm just going to run straight past you and then I'm going to get my... the last stuff of mine. My skateboard and bag. Okay, let's go back to the room. Okay, here we go. Close the door. Only had two. I know. I know. Stop complaining all the time. Jesus Christ. Can we watch some TV? You know what? I think I pass. Thanks anyway. Can we go and take a shit now? I would need that so bad. This is a good hiding spot. Maybe I will need it later. I don't know. It's such a creepy build-up in these games. You never know what to expect. Okay, the phone was not working. That is not a good sign either. I think they did that on purpose. So we, we, we are not able to call for help if something happens. Are we going to sleep? Feels like we can't sleep whatsoever. What the fuck? Hey! Call it a foresight, but there was something very off about that place. Yes, there was a creepy guy standing outside. I couldn't help shake the feeling that something wasn't right. The feeling tiredness was overcoming by anxiety. A hot cup of coffee would help, I thought to myself, okay. A, cof a cup of coffee always helps you out. I'm a pure coffee drinker myself, so I, 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 I know exactly how it feels like. Do I have medication and shit? So we are heading out to the... To the reception or something to get a cup of coffee? Give me a cup of coffee right now, or I swear to fucking God. You have a great night's sleep. Okay, I, 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 I think I should have, shouldn't have gone here. I think we need to go back to the room or something. Consuming these items increases your sprint speed. I'll have some of that. Thank you very much. I guess we gotta need it for later. That creepy old guy is going to chase us. 
I am convinced. Consume that bad boy. All right, that that, that was cool. That was pretty cool. Here is something. Here we can get a nice cup of coffee. Espresso, cappuccino, French vanilla. I think I go with the espresso. I want some strong shit. Buy that. And consuming these items will help you stay awake. So we got both better stamina and we can stay awake for longer now as well. Or can we? Wait a minute, what is going on right now? No, 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 what, what, what is going on right now? Holy shit! The keyboard controls are the complete opposite. I need to use the S key to go forward the W to go backwards? What the fuck is going on? Oh, I can't see a jack shit. No, I can't read the messages. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry to let you down. I think that coffee was poisoned with something. No, we are being drugged right now. Close the door. Close the door, please. Oh, fuck. Are we going to bed? Is that a good idea now? We should rest. We should rest. Is he gonna be in my room now when we wake up? Is he gonna stand right there? At the end of my bed? This is not good. This is not good at all. 3.18 a.m. I was sedated. Phone is ringing? Is it the phone here? Does it work? Yeah, I'm coming! H Hello? Someone farted in the telephone? Okay... What's up? What is going on? And you could hear that classic signal when someone was about to call you on your cell phone as well. Or mobile phone. Shut up, my English is perfect, okay? Is it knocking on the door? I hope we can peek out through the hole. Who is it? Joey from the front desk, open the door! do nothing. I don't know if we should open up now. Can we ask him something like what he wants? Who is it? <laughs> Joey from the front desk. I don't know if we should open the door. I've learned from the first game that if you do the the if you do the incorrect thing in these games, you you end up getting killed. Can we hide? <laughs> but apparently we did the wrong thing now. I thought we were about to hide. Okay, we're back at this very same scenario. I'm waiting for the guy to arrive at, at the door. The guy from the front desk. Because now I know that we can hide in there, okay? That's gotta end up... What's going on now? Am I just washing my hands? Can we leave now? It didn't feel safe going out. Can we use the phone?
Okay, so things are not really the same this time. No one had knocked on my door yet, which they should. Are we gonna watch some Superman meanwhile? <laughs> no, can't do that. Are we going back to sleep? No, no, someone was knocking on the door. It's... Is, is anyone there? Who is it? Joey from the front desk. Open the door. Yeah, okay. Open the door. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? What do you mean? I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? What goofy noises? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that why your eyes are all red? Mention the coffee machine. Come on, someone drugged me. Are you messing with me? We don't have no coffee machine here. It's right over there! Okay, okay, here, I've had enough of you crazy goons here. For once I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. Follow me. I hate my job. Lee Joe, are we gonna show him the coffee machine now? What if he runs out of here? Maybe he gets away with it. And now we're going to show him the coffee machine and it's not here anymore. I'm sure that's the case. Oh no. Of course it's not here anymore. Can you walk a little bit faster, sir? Come on. Oh no. I'm sorry, sir. Go back to the room. I swear to God, it was right there. Please. I said go back now. Did you not hear me? I said go back to the fucking... Check the table by the TV. I don't want to go back to my room. What if he's there? What if he is right there? I don't want to go in there. Come on. Please. <gasps> it's opened now. Holy shit. I don't know what to do. I still can't read the messages. No, don't close the door, please. We got anything here? No, nothing there. Can we go back and talk to him? I want his help so badly right now. Wait, the trunk is open here for some reason. Is that his car, maybe? Let's go to the reception first. I feel so much safer there. Let's buy a cola first. So we can sprint faster if we need to. Can we use a phone here? Maybe we can use the phone. No, can't do that. Okay, I guess we need to go back to our room. Okay, maybe we need to take the medication. Maybe it's time for some medication now. Requires water, of course. Of course! So we are going straight back to hell. Okay, we got a water machine over there. Come on. Head over to that quick. 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 Grab some water. No? Is it empty? You got anything in here? No, nothing. Then what should we do? 
But do we need the water from the room? Because we could use the sink before. Is that it? Maybe that's the thing to do. I'm sorry, you guys. Turn off the TV and take water from the sink. Oh, we need to close the door as well, of course. Sorry about that. Didn't think about that detail. Grab the water. No need to turn on the lights. I'm too stressed out for that. Okay, take those damn pills. Then everything shall be okay. Is it? Is everything okay now? So can we go for sleep now or what's the plan? What's the big plan, girl? What's the big plan? No sleep? We're just gonna look out the window. Peek for strangers, maybe? There's no one outside, that's a good sign. What? 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 Did... Did someone just take a picture of me? Fuck, let's get out of here. I didn't feel safe going out. Holy shit! Someone standing outside. Hello. How about no? What should we do? What should we do? I don't know what to do. Are we just gonna hide here? Is he still out there? Is he standing right there? Hello, more like, hell no. Can we answer him or something? Hello? No. Who is it? Please open the door, I need help. What do you want? I need your help, please open the door. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I've learned that I should not open for strangers. I know you're in there. Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Please go away or or I'm calling the cops. Pretty late. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, can we hide? Can we hide? Can we hide? Are we... Did he beat him down? To this day I find it really weird that the manager in, in feared not to get the police involved and it would have been affected Motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what I felt like a year. I never went on long road trips again. I would always take airplanes. Well, that's a really good choice of yours. Oh. Jesus Christ, we did it. We did it. Once again, thank you, God. 
That was a really creepy story. Holy shit. There's a reason why these Fear to Fathom games are so good with the build-up, the giving you that intense feeling throughout the whole game. My pulse was so high, and I really hope that you enjoyed this game and video as well, and if you did, don't forget to smash the little like button, and I truly hope that I will see you in the next video, and also in the next Fear Fears to Fathom video as well, okay? Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for being so awesome. I see you in the next one.